Welcome back, everyone. Today, uh, we're diving into something pretty wild. Yeah. Nuclear diamond batteries. Mm -hmm. These batteries, they're still being developed, but they could last for thousands of years. It's really uh, almost unbelievable how long they could last. It's a hard concept to grasp. It is. But the science behind it is really interesting. Basically, they use the energy from the decay of radioactive isotopes. Yeah, it's kind of like a tiny little nuclear power plant. Right. Packed inside a diamond. Exactly. Pretty neat, huh? So think about it like a battery that could last longer than recorded history. Wow. Powering devices for generations. Crazy. We're going to break down how these things work, why scientists are so excited, and the impact they could have on everything from medical devices to space travel. It's going to be a fun one. It is. So what makes these batteries so revolutionary is the combination of the materials and the science behind them. Yep. You've got radioactive isotopes like carbon-14 embedded in a diamond lattice. Diamonds are great for this because they're super hard and yeah. they contain the radiation, which is important for safety, obviously. Makes sense. Then as the isotope decays, it releases energy as these beta particles, uh -huh. which are basically just fast moving electrons. Okay. And that energy we can capture and convert into electricity. So it's like we're harnessing the power of radioactive decay. Yeah, exactly. And that the lifespan is what's really mind blowing. Yeah. A nuclear diamond battery with just one gram of carbon-14. Just one gram. Could theoretically provide power for thousands of years. Carbon-14 has a half-life of 5,730 years. Wow. To put that in perspective, mm. that's longer than all of recorded human civilization. That is wild. And it's not just the crazy lifespan. Right. The fact that it uses carbon-14, mm. which is a naturally occurring isotope, yeah. opens up some really cool possibilities for sustainable energy. Totally. We're not talking about digging up uranium or dealing uh, with tons of nuclear waste. That would so I'm sure some people are thinking, how much power can these things actually put out? Right. Like, how do they compare to a regular AA battery that you'd find in your remote? Sure. Like, could one of these tiny diamond batteries power my phone? So while a small diamond battery could power devices for thousands of years, the output is lower than conventional batteries. Okay, so there's a trade-off. Yeah, think of it as power versus longevity. Got it. A single nuclear diamond battery with one gram of carbon-14 could deliver about 15 joules per day. Hmm. An alkaline AA battery has an energy density of about 700 joules per gram. So it's way less powerful. Yeah, you might need a bunch of these diamond batteries to power something like a car. Okay. But a single one could keep your smartphone running for generations. Whoa. It's all about choosing the right tool for the job. That makes sense. This difference in power is really important to understanding where these batteries will be most useful. Mm. We're not trying to replace every battery and every device. Right. These are best for things that need long lasting low power sources. Like what kind of? Well, one of the most exciting areas is in medicine specifically for implantable medical devices like pacemakers. Oh yeah, that makes sense. Right now, pacemakers need battery replacements and that requires surgery. Dude, risky. Yeah and expensive. Absolutely. So imagine a world where pacemakers could last a lifetime. Wow. No more repeat surgeries. That would be huge for patients. Totally. It could improve their quality of life significantly. That's incredible. And it's not just pacemakers. What else? Think about insulin pumps, neurostimulators, even hearing aids. So basically anything that's implanted. Pretty much, yeah. This could be a whole new era for medical technology. Right with devices that are more reliable and less invasive. Exactly. That's a game changer. It really is. And it goes beyond just medicine. Think about space exploration. Oh yeah, good point. Spacecraft on these really long missions, right. they rely on solar panels or these giant heavy batteries. Yeah. And even those have limited lifespans. Of course. So imagine sending a probe way out there to the outer solar system. Or even beyond. Yeah powered by a battery that could last for centuries. That's amazing. Nuclear diamond batteries could give us that power. Wow. So we could explore the cosmos in ways we can only dream of right now. Exactly. And think about it being able to send data back to Earth for decades. For centuries. Yeah. It would totally change how we understand the universe. That's incredible. It really is. And it's not just space, right? Nope. We could use these tiny power sources for remote sensing and tracking uh -huh. in some of the toughest environments on Earth. Yeah, like the bottom of the ocean. Exactly. Or monitoring climate change in the Arctic. Or tracking animals in the rainforest. Yeah. Places where it's hard or impossible to replace batteries. Exactly. Their durability and how long they last would be 
perfect for those situations. They would. And we could gather data for years and years. We could. Leading to breakthroughs in environmental monitoring, wildlife conservation. Uh huh. Even understanding our own planet's climate. It's pretty exciting stuff. And let's not forget about industrial settings. Oh yeah, like factories? Yeah, especially high-risk environments. Who are you? Like, think about an oil rig out at sea. Uh -huh. Or even a nuclear power plant. Mm. Places where you absolutely can't have a battery failure. That makes sense. These batteries could provide super reliable power in those tough conditions. Yeah, because their lifespan is so long. Exactly, and they can handle those harsh environments. Right. In those places, a battery failure could be catastrophic. Oh, for sure. So nuclear diamond batteries could offer a level of reliability we just don't have right now. Interesting, so they could actually make those industries safer. Yeah, they could. And probably save money on maintenance too. Definitely. And maybe even make things run more efficiently. It sounds like these batteries have the potential to touch so many different parts of our lives. They really do. It's pretty mind-blowing. It is, and all thanks to these tiny diamonds. It's incredible. Yeah. It is. Yeah. It really seems like nuclear diamond batteries could change everything about how we think about energy. They could. Having power that lasts practically forever. Uh it's mm -hmm. kind of hard to imagine what that would be like. It is. Especially for things like pacemakers and spacecraft. It's both exciting and a little scary, right? It is. <gasps> there are so many possibilities. There are. But obviously we're not quite there yet. Nope. So what are some of the challenges we're going to face as these batteries become more common? Well, one of the big ones is figuring out how to integrate them into all our existing systems. Hmm. That makes sense. Like our infrastructure and stuff. Right, because everything's designed around the batteries we have now. Exactly. So we'll need to come up with new rules and regulations uh -huh. and ways to manufacture these diamond batteries on a large scale. Yeah, it's going to be a big shift. So we'll need everyone to work together. For sure. Governments, industry leaders, scientists, and even the public. We need to be open about the challenges. And the benefits. Yeah, so that everyone's on board. And what about the impact on jobs and the economy? That's another big one. Because this technology could really disrupt things. It could. It could create new industries and jobs. Yeah, but some existing industries might struggle. Right. So we need to think about how to support those workers. Like with retraining programs. Exactly, and by encouraging new businesses in the energy sector. So even though there are challenges, yeah. it seems like the potential benefits are just too big to ignore. I think so. This technology could really change the world for the better. Absolutely. Imagine a world without energy shortages where medical devices work perfectly for your entire life. And spacecraft can travel for centuries. Yeah, and we can monitor a planet in ways we never thought possible. That's the future that these batteries could give us. A future with sustainable energy for everyone. It's an amazing thought. It is. And it's all thanks to these tiny diamonds. It's incredible what we can do with science. It really is. Well, this has been an incredible deep dive into nuclear diamond batteries. It has been. It's clear that this technology has the potential to change everything. It does. And it's exciting to think about what the future holds. It is. Thank you so much for joining us. My pleasure. And to all our listeners out there, keep exploring the world and never stop learning. Cheers to that. This has been The Deep Dive. Thanks for listening.